In this tutorial, we'll look at the rebuild command and the tween curves command. So let's go ahead and start by creating a curve. And I'll add quite a few points on this curve. And then just for the fun of it, let's move some of these up and down so we can look at how this behaves in three dimensions. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and make a copy of this curve, move it over and let's rebuild this one. So go ahead and select the second curve, type in rebuild, and what rebuild does is basically change the point count and then create a new curve with this number of points. So in parentheses here you can see the original number of control points, it had nine, and if I rebuild it with seven you can see this black curve here, that's the more simple version with only seven control points of that. You'll notice that there is, it's not the same geometry, so there is a um, a deviation that happens, so you have to be okay with it not being as precise as the original geometry you're rebuilding. If you add more points, you know, 20 points, it'll be even closer, uh, but it will still be different, so something to keep in mind. I'll just go with 5 in this case, and then I'll say OK. You can see I now have a simpler version of that other curve. And so let's just move these points around a little bit and look at the tween curves option. So tween curves basically makes an average curve between these two curves. So let's go ahead and select the two curves, type in tween curves, and then it asks you for the number of curves. So for example, I could say five, enter, and that would be five curves between those two curves. And you can do any number you want. I could do 30 if I want it to be like a really smooth topography. Um, but this is also great for stairs, for example, or creating um, additional topo lines. Go ahead and hit enter, and that executes the command. These are all separate curves now, so you can move these and modify them individually.